So I'm still alive because I've taken all these tablets. These are all empty boxes, look. They're all empty, empty boxes, empty boxes, all of them. Basically, I always keep my tablets, my empty tablets, I always keep them because I want to just remind myself every single day that these tablets keep me alive. Plus, it's effective for doing videos like this. And here we go again. It is Blood Cancer Awareness Month because it is September. So, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about blood cancer. Which is leukemia, which is what I've got. Now, if you're a subscriber of mine, you've probably seen lots of videos of mine where I talk about blood cancer. Um, if you have and you don't want to hear any more, skip, stop, pause. Whatever, do what you want, it's up to you, you can watch if you want, you don't have to. I've got to keep doing new videos talking about leukemia because hopefully I'll reach out to new people that have never ever ever come across my channel and hopefully it will help them. What is blood cancer? Blood cancer is basically a cancer that starts in the bone marrow inside of your bones in your body. It produces abnormal white blood cells and those blood cells crowd out the healthy cells and then the, the body can't fight infection. That's basically it in a nutshell. There are different types of leukemia many different types but I'm just gonna kind of talk about just blood cancer in general I feel like I've said this next bit a million times in videos but I've got to say it again I was diagnosed on the 14th of December 2016 quite a while ago now right quite a while ago so we're doing good so far touch wood but I want to read some facts out about cancer okay now I'm getting this information from the blood cancer UK website so it's it's as right as they put it. They know more than me. I'm going to read it out to you. There are over 100 types of blood cancer. Every year in the UK, around 40,000 people are diagnosed with blood cancer. Blood cancer is the most common type of cancer amongst children, teenagers, young people in the UK. Blood cancer is the fifth most common type of cancer in the UK. In the UK, 1 in 16 men and 1 in 22 women will develop blood cancer at some point in their lives. Wow. 1 in 16 men. 1 in 22 women. That is insane. This is why we need to spread awareness. You people don't understand. People don't see blood cancer as a, it's like an invisible cancer. People just don't. They think of lung cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, and they don't really. You don't honestly. Be honest with yourself. Do you think about blood cancer as a cancer? You don't, do you? There are around 250,000 people living with blood cancer in the UK. Now I'm currently just talking about UK numbers because clearly I'm from the UK. You can tell by my voice. Um, but obviously there's way more worldwide. Blood cancer is the third biggest cancer killer in the UK, claiming the lives of more than 15,000 people each year, more than breast cancer and prostate cancer, and I didn't know that either. I'm literally learning right now while reading this to you. Six in ten people diagnosed with blood cancer in the UK survive for ten or more years. I've had it three coming, I've had it four years in December. So to cut a long story short, right, I'm not going to read out loads and loads and loads and loads of information. You get me drift, don't you? It's really, really, really bad. A lot of people don't see blood cancer as an actual cancer because, like I said, they see it as it's a bit invisible. You don't really know about it too much. There are lots of people who have it, lots of people who don't survive from it, lots of people do well like myself. I'm only, I, I've only had it three years. I'm coming up to my fourth year. That's not a long time. Believe me though, when I was first diagnosed, I didn't know I was gonna to get to four years because I didn't know what it was. Hence why I'm doing these videos. When I was diagnosed, I didn't know I had four years left in me. I thought, well that's it, that's it. It's how long I've got left, do you know what I mean? It's gonna be over with soon. Coming on to four years now, doing really, really well. I'm strong, I'm fit, I'm active. So I am a good story so far and touch wood, it stays like that and it keeps, you know, I keep doing good. What can happen is you can fail on the tablets. The tablets can fail, your body can become resistant to the tablets. If that happens, you have to go to another tablet, if your body will allow that. Not everyone can go on the tablets, everyone's different. Some people can manage with the tablets, some people get no side effects, some people can't go on the tablets. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on, right? So basically, you can help save lives. These tablets I take to keep me alive today have all been made by people funding. Basically, to cut a long story short, people give, donate money, and then things like these can be created, and, you know, hopefully we live happily ever after. Also, what you can do is, you can donate stem cells. Now, stem cells can save someone's life, because sometimes, sometimes the, the last resort to save somebody from having leukemia is a bone marrow transplant, or a stem cell transplant. And you can donate your healthy stem cells if you are a healthy person. They put a needle into your arm, take the blood out, the blood goes through a machine, the healthy stems get collected, and then the unused blood goes back into your body. And that's so easy, pain-free, and basically, if 
your stem cells have a match for somebody out there, they will basically sort it all out. They'll give them to them and hopefully that person's body can accept them and then you've saved a life. You can do that. Just donate stem cells. It's, it's easy. It's easy. It's pain free. You can save someone's life. And to keep medication like this coming, to keep people alive, donate some money. Just a little bit here and there. If you've got it to donate, obviously. If you don't, you know what I mean? You've got to look after yourself and all that kind of stuff. If you've got any spare change, of course, you can donate to... So many different leukemia, blood cancer um, charities, and they can fund amazing research that come up with tablets like this. I'm gonna post some links down below in my description, all about blood cancer, all about donating, and hopefully you can read that and you can get involved. You can help people like me survive. I'm trying to be a good news story. That's the reason I, I did my channel. I did my channel to try and inspire, entertain, and motivate people. Hopefully I'm still doing that, or I am doing that. Um, yeah, I'm trying to be a positive child, not a negative one, because there's a lot of negative news about it. Obviously, people can die, I myself can die from having this, this disease, but I'm trying my best to just try and show you the goodness, you know what I mean? Like, I do, oh God, I work out, I work full time, I do jujitsu, I write and make music, check out my album, Borrow Time. Um, I do YouTube videos. I'm full on, do you know what I mean? I'm doing as much as I can in life because I'm physically capable of doing that right now. And without these, I can't do any of that. Without these, you wouldn't be watching this video. It's as simple as that. So my way of spreading awareness is by talking about it again and again and again. I repeat and I repeat and I repeat. And people who are watching this right now who are subscribed to me are probably sick of me going on about it. But I've got to keep doing it. That is the reason I started it. This top ball of time, that is what my album's called. Boom, the leukemia lab. This, I've started all this to keep spreading awareness and I'm gonna keep spreading awareness until the day I drop. Until I can't physically do it anymore. Check out the links down below and uh, le learn a little bit about leukemia. If you're watching my channel, learn about leukemia. Read a pub about it. You can donate money, you can donate stem cells, you can save someone's life. You, right there. You might save my life one day by donating stem cells. Who knows? Okay, thank you for watching. That is the video. Goodbye.